Full speed ahead, Dashi. I'm on it, Captain. Ha-ha! That's more like it! Are we almost there, Cap? Don't worry, Tweak. We'll be there in no time. Okay, Cap. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Peso. Sandy the sea turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncher, buncher. Uh, how does it go? Buncher, munchy, crunchy. Oh. What was that? Oh, Captain, the octopod is losing electrical power. I can't control the ship. Let's switch to steering wheel. Huh? <gasps> Quasi, peso, totem pole. Hi, Hi Captain. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. This could get bumpy. Ah! Lapity flippers, we're heading straight for the canyon. Not if I can help it. Captain. Shiver me whiskers. That was a close one, Captain. It's not over yet. The electricity's out and we're right on the edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Cap. No electricity, no octo alert. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegetable style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Can't you just go out to meet her in one of the gups? The crash jammed the octa hatch. I can't get it open wide enough to take the gups out. We'd better check to see if the ship is damaged on the outside. Quasi, Peso, activate helmets. Let's go. <laughs> This is not a good place for the octopod to be. It could fall over the canyon at any minute. We'd better tie it down. That should hold it for a while. Ah, nothing to worry about. The octopod's as secure as... Yeah! Huh, what's the big idea, stepping on my tail like that? First this big orange thing drops out of the sky, and now these guys are just walking all over me while I'm resting on the sand. It makes me so mad I could... <laughs> Easy now. We didn't mean to startle you. We were on our way to visit a friend when our ship crashed. Oh, all right. Whew. Listen, I'm really sorry about that. I'm usually a pretty friendly, go-with-the-flow kind of guy, but sometimes I just get a little worked up, and then... Yeah, yeah, then you zap. But how do you do it? I am a torpedo ray, an electric torpedo ray, but you can call me Ray for short. An electric torpedo ray? That's right. I have a special part inside me that makes electricity, which lets me zap things. The one I gave you was just a little warning zap. Some warning. But I can make big zaps of electricity, too. Hmm. Could you show us how you make one of your big zaps? I sure hope this works. 
I might just get to see Sandy after all. Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. Okay, here I go. Nothing to it. Huh? Uh, well, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. <laughs> oh, yum! Oh, it's working! Mmm, oh, nice and crunchy. We torpedo rays always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room... A bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. And they do seem to like the Vegemal's fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Junip. Come on, guys. Dinner is served. Nice and crunchy. And these fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> nice and crunchy. Yeah. It's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, wow. <laughs> Almost there. Just a few more zaps. I knew we could do it. Oh, hey, watch it, man. That watch was my good shot. Watch it, will ya? All right, get out of my way, man. Hey, easy, guys. Get out of it. The octopod's going to fall over the edge. Hey, watch out, you? Torpedo rays, look out. Ooh. Sorry. I've got to get to the controls. <laughs> Looks like you could use a lift. <gasps> Sandy! Nice to see you again, Sandy. Hop on. Aim for the octo hatch. Got it. To jump for it. Uh, ah. <laughs> A little polar bat strength. Hey! Octonauts. The octopod is back in action. Yeah! 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 Good to see you, Tweak. You too, Sandy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I heard all the commotion from the other side of the canyon, so I swam over to check it out. Just in time, too. I'm glad everybody's okay. Fish biscuits, Sandy. Here, let me zap that for you. Mm. Nice and crunchy. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way just to see me. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Uh, not too much trouble, Sandy. <laughs> 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 